Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 30th of March until the 16th of um, April and welcome to the channel and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live and when new videos are loaded up. Now there's uh, a lot of beautiful things happening. Uh, you might, uh, if you are following the channel, uh, my Cyber Angels uh, regularly, then uh, you have seen the series on the vlog with the Dutch Witch and also the interview with Yasmin Westwood. And this is her deck that we talked about and she's uh, lifted up the corner of the veil and she's shared some secrets. So go and listen to the interview. Okay, it was really nice to meet her and I'm, uh, like I said, this is the Enchanted Dream uh, Tarot and this is the Angel Feather Oracle deck from uh, Michelle Newton and this is the Archangel Michael deck and I've included this card because I'm, he stands for protection uh, justice, clarity, honesty and communication. So he's also the throat chakra archangel. He represents speaking. Watch your intonation and that's what he's there for. Okay, let's get started. Um, like a, a welcome to the new people if you would like to become a cyber angel like the uh, regular f viewers then join us in the live. I go live on Monday evening and Friday evening in English and Wednesday evening for Dutch. So if you can speak Dutch, you're more than welcome to join. Now, uh, I, the readings all have a more or less the same theme. It's coming up very strongly. Uh, uh, pending, delays, standing still, holding on, boom, big changes are coming and they might have already happened for most of you. Okay, and I'm not going into the what uh, the, the crisis is at the moment because everybody is jumping on that, that bandwagon and I will not feed it energy. I will not talk about it, I will just talk about what life is. Go, um, the best reading so far is Libra. It is absolutely mind-blowing. It just, the reading was just taken over. They had a mind of its own. What came out is amazing. It just rolled off. It was Niagara Falls. So sh share that video with everybody, um, if not your own. Okay, well, we are nearly at the 2000 again, only four more members, so if you want to uh, have an extra night, when I've reached 2000, I will go live an extra night. Okay, here we go, uh, Scorpio, you have the uh, Empress, and the Empress, wow, that is like Mother Earth. The Queen of Pentacles. We don't have the Queen of Pentacles, but we've got two queens in the reading. Okay. Um, the Empress is all, uh, also represents Libra. So there might be somebody that you are meeting, and that could be Libra. If you are not hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant, hearing of a birth could be that you might hear of a new project, a new job, or a birth of a child. And I love the peachy color. And you know, this is, uh, I think she's beautiful. Um, she's a little bit larger than our model figures. And I'm glad that the author has done this because every is, um, this signifies, signifies um, that everybody is beautiful in their own right. You know, in America they've got a saying, uh, big is beautiful. Well, here you are. It is in, uh, it's done in the cards and the author is English. So that is amazing. 
look at all the other figures in here they're all like models they're like photo models I'm glad that um, that um, vision is changing uh, because everybody is beautiful in their own right doesn't matter what color or creed okay now I'm going to take uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to explain if you haven't watched the review on this these cards then you might not understand the theme or the concept of these cards but these cards highlight the woman and femininity in each one of us whether we are a man or a woman this deck is amazing it just blows my mind every time and you see so many new things like today I discovered a Scorpio on the death card and the death card represents Scorpio okay now like I said the Empress um, uh, represents Libra now I can't see any sign of Libra here like scales but uh, you might be meeting uh, a Libra or um, there might be a Libra doing something for, or coming back from the past as we've got the six of cups and this is mirrored uh, with or this is depicted with mirrors from the past and also the cups on the floor the six of cups means that you might be dreaming about the past it could be dreaming about this Libra okay the Libra could be coming back from the past and giving you a present that's what's happening on Monday and then you've got on Wednesday you've got the world upside down that is what the world looks like up, upright um, but it is um, upside down <coughs> The world means something coming to an, uh, an end of a cycle, a new beginning, going on holiday, um, moving home, all those kind of things, and it's upside down. So it means the opposite. Quite simple. You have the world in your hands. No, you don't have the world in your hands because it's upside down. It's also my karma card. So. Um, it, that means that if you've done good or if you've done bad uh, you will get your karma threefold back no you will not get anything back whether it's good or bad but there is news coming most probably I've got more of a feeling that there is not only news coming to you but also protection because you've got the knight the knight in shining armor the knight of cups and he does protect because he's a nurturing type of person I think he might just protect he's gentle he's emotional he's spiritual um, he, he's sensitive he listens to his intuition he's not the king yet he is in charge of his emotions but he might just act a little bit more out of haste to jump in there and give you protection uh, perhaps from the uh, Libra um, because uh, the Knight of Cups is the Knight of Cups is um, um, sorry Cancer Scorpio or Pisces and um, uh, that is what he represents and he could be bringing you an offer of love so it could be the Libra like I said coming back from the past offering you love but it could also be offering a job so there you go it could be also any of the water signs so heed the warning love is coming in or a new job okay and on Friday wow you have the ace of swords victory is yours ace of swords the victory is yours <laughs> it rhymes and that's crazy this could be with the Libra the air sign but it could also be with a Gemini or an Arian because the Queen of Swords is here and you know the Queen of Swords also represents Libra this is crazy 
the Queen of Swords also represents uh, Libra. The King of Swords is Gemini, and the Queen of Swords is Libra. And the 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 Knight, uh, as far as I know, the Knights don't represent anybody from the Big Arcana, or the P uh, Person cards uh, don't represent uh, the the Big Arcana. Um, but the pages do. The pages do. So the, uh, the 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 page of swords is Aquarius. So there you are. So the king is uh, Gemini, the queen is Libra, and Aquarius um, is the page. Okay. So. It could be either signs because it is um, a, a, a strong card, and we have got the queen here. Um, the ace represents all the air signs. Victory is yours. You might come into some knowledge. Some he might be the knight of cups might be bringing you news, and you might be um, getting information that you need to finalize a judicial situation or something else. Something will become clear to you. Okay, perhaps the declaration of love. Boom. Um, you might have been hoping and wishing and thinking about it, and you um, thinking gives power to things. So that's why I will not give energy to certain things by thinking about them. So stay out of your head, Scorpio. If you want something to happen, be careful what you want. Choose what you want, precisely, directly, and swiftly, like the dagger, like the sword. Cut straight through to the core, and, Scorpio, think it, because that's your pow a power. Mat mind over matter, that is what's coming into me now. I just paused there, but that came into my mind. Mind over matter, but learn to communicate clearly. If you've got this new beginning, um, the ace is a new beginning, it could be a new study, it could be um, a, a, a new beginning in a relationship, it could be a new beginning um, in communicating, learning how to communicate because the swords stand for a study. So perhaps you have to learn how to communicate to make the other person understand what you mean and uh, perhaps you have to understand uh, what you mean, what you're thinking. So interpreting your thoughts into practice properly and uh, with beautiful intonation. Wow, that's power. Well, my darling Scorpio, if you are meeting up with a water sign or with an air sign, be careful because you might pick up some good tips from an, uh, an air sign also the water sign to be more nurturing uh, because the water signs stand for love, passion, nurturing, care, sensuality and sexuality. The air signs can, uh, you know, they are great communicators especially Gemini. Um, uh, Libra stands for justice um, they, uh, their, their negative aspect, one of them is procrastination. They always weigh things. Uh, sometimes they're more, um, they're, the Libra I find are more like the fire signs. They, uh, it, but worse because uh, Libra procrastinates because it weighs things. But the fire signs are logical and they can be quite sober without emotions and think things through and then take action because they're so logical so they can work things out without emotion I mean they they have emotions they're very passionate people they know what they want nine times out of ten and they go through fire and hell uh, brimstone and fire or hell I don't know what the saying uh, is uh, but if they want something to go for it but they think about it logically before they take, take action and Gemini's uh, are really swift as where Libra thinks about it but overthinks it that can be negative too it can work against you it can flip you, flip back onto you and Aquarius well 
uh, he is between Gemini and Libra. He's a little bit of a. I see uh, Aquarius as a child, more or less, more innocent. Uh, that's why in one moment they can be uh, business like, and the next moment they can be very innocent like, like Gemini. Gemini is also the third house, so uh, that is a child. He has to learn yet to think before he acts. So if you are dealing with an air sign, then ask them if they are swift or abrupt or um, their intonation is slightly out of uh, chord. Ask them, what do you mean? Get the clarity, because they do stand for clarity. They stand for justice. Okay, um, the, That's the bit of extra news that you can get, but you've got victory. Victory is yours you're going to get also news from a page of pentacles the page of pentacles like i said the page of pentacles it also represents a person or an, a, a sign a zodiac sign and that is capricorn so there might be a capricorn in the vicinity um, that um, or around you that will bring you news this could be a young child around between uh, 14 uh, 2021 20, so around that age I would say uh, a late teenager early teenager uh, not too young um, because we have other cards for younger people so on Friday you will get news <coughs> and this could because it's a pentacle sign uh, that and that is uh, news about durability and long term this could be sorry it's not a fire, fire sign it's pe pentacles yeah that's Capricorn I talk too much sometimes <laughs> well I'm a typical Gemini anyway uh, and I'll defend my sign through thick and thin okay um, but the page of pentacles will bring you news that is uh, something material that you can touch. It could be about work, it could be about a new job, uh, a job offer. This could be an offer of a job. Um, so again, news, news. So there is lots of news flying around you, Scorpio. And this could be because this is the cups. This could be uh, through mouth of word. Why do I say m through mouth of word? Um, because we have fluid in the mouth and when you talk it sometimes is like a waterfall and that's that's coming in. It's n not a basic meaning but that's coming into my um, head and my feeling. So. Um, this conversation uh, or you might have had a conversation and it's the, uh, uh, abundance overvloed vloed, go with the flow uh, in Dutch overvloed is abundance but overvloed also means uh, uh, like the cup runneth over runneth over so there might be lo well you've already got two message cards but I think you're going to get more and it could be from the past but also something that's tangible for long term in the future as you've also got the overall energy the ace of pentacles I see so that might be moving home uh, selling a home um, you might get to hear the house is sold you can buy your own house now if you've got your own eye on a house because you know when you sell a house you have to buy another house or rent another house perhaps you've got the contract which is durable and for long term boom there you are a new job like I said more job offers uh, wow this is magic it's just as crazy as uh, 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 all the other readings but the craziest reading I've had is Libra it just went like a water flow it just came out boom took a life of its own now again 
the Queen of Swords. She cuts through to the BS. She goes for the uh, the core, right? She wants clarity. She wants justice, and she will communicate what she wants. She won't take any BS from nobody. Okay, so you could be meeting a Gemini, uh, a Libra, or um, an Aquarian, and the Queen of Swords represents Libra, as I've already told you. Now we've got the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups uh, represents yourself, Scorpio. So there might be an other Scorpio, or you might be in your element. But if you are meeting uh, a Scorpio, these two ladies could be coming back from the past. Um, the cards aren't sexist. Um, but it is more profound that it will be a woman it could be coming back from the past but it could also be a man with a nurturing um, nature a loving nature a passionate nature okay but I think this is more or less you Scorpio as the Queen of Cups represents your sign now the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups uh, represents Libra um, and uh, it might be about judicial issues because Gem uh, the, uh, the air signs Libra as well um, yeah I don't know why they stand the air signs stand for judicial system justice the sword of justice Michael uh, Michael also is an archangel with the sword and shield and stands for the throat chakra uh, talking communication so I think you are protected here this I don't know this is the extra message I'm getting if you are in a judicial situation Michael is protecting you and sorry I'm going to say it he's cutting sorry um, the I thought something went wrong with my computer I've had some computer problems the energy of words wow communication that's what I said intonation so um, positivity the in, you've got a green card so that means healing space you need space I also see money coming your way um, it also uh, reminds me of the card the tree in the Lenaman because it's green so you might be putting down roots okay you might be putting down roots somewhere something is changing but there is a delay because I told you we've got this a new house a new home you might be selling your home um, let's have a look that might be the news a judicial situation uh, signing contracts so um, you're going to get clarity words news news is also verbal but written so that is also words being spoken but this is your reading so you have an energy of words that means that you are going to communicate like the Queen of Swords okay or somebody is it could be a Libra Archangel Michael requests a personal thorough review of your inner mind and outer verbal verbal dialogue words have powerful energy so use them wisely now you've got the ace of swords as well so that means communicating perhaps you might start a job boom you might start a job communicating bringing news uh, perhaps you might become a newsreader a presenter a presentator uh, a teacher you name it who knows but your words will be golden if you've had an argument with somebody and if you are in a judicial situation choose your words carefully um, learn from I also have to think of the five of swords that nobody is a winner if you argue and d fight okay maintain the balance like Libra now we've got you've got the emerald green angel feather you can e 
eat green foods, you can meditate on green, emerald green, you can wear emerald green, it is also a lucky colour, a healing colour. Restored health and healing. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health. They send you healthy rays of green light and will assist you or a loved one to heal physically, physically or mentally. And boom, you've got the mental aspect big time there, okay? Because the air signs are communicators, thinkers. I think thinks through. Sorry, I was lying like this. This is magic, magic, how they come together. Now, with all the other readings, I have uh, chosen one card, except for Libra, because that went on and on and on. It just took a life of its own, like I said. Um, with this card, this sticks out. Uh, to me like a sore thumb and it's the world upside down now this is also my karma card now if you have said uh, funny words or if you haven't had uh, fluent uh, fluent uh, going fluently communications with people and you've got the word the energy of the words and restoring mental or uh, physical health uh, I think it's more to do with the mental health side because you need to use your brain put your brain in gear when you talk because words are golden once they're said they're said and very difficult very difficult to forgive somebody if they've said the wrong thing or if it's misunderstood what I would like to do is give you uh, a question and I would like to give you a task food for thought see whether it resonates with you what sort of world there you are the word world that's why it stuck out to me like a sore thumb what sort of world have you been creating for yourself and others of late why can it not come to an ending an end of the face although there will there are have been delays perhaps but um, you have victory there is two new beginnings in you have a victory you can start communicating again okay perhaps about something materialistic now the task that I would like to give you is reflect on your inner journey so far the thinker, right? The swords are thinkers. Meditate or contemplate and evaluate. That's another way of saying it. Reflect on your journey so far, what you've communicated, what you've done. On a face of your life, you could also communicate on a face or a facet of an issue or of life. How have you arrived at where you are today? What have you done to improve your life and learn to communicate? Because communication is big for you this week. You've learned it. You've learned to communicate. You've learned from the past. Boom. Okay. The card of the past. And what lessons have you not learned? see whether you can find the balance there because I keep on coming back to Libra but Libra is scales so are you back in your balance I hope so are you back in your emotional balance water element are you nurturing yourself are you thinking about how to enhance your communication and your thoughts that is your task for this week Scorpio wow I love this reading I hope you do too let me know in the reactions and let the cards speak to you look at the cards they've been replay replay the video and you're the first ones that I've said this to and see what you can see in the cards and how the cards speak to you 
what do they say? There you are. That's the message. Wow. Take care. I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the live sessions. So please share and like this video and if you are not a member it's greatly appreciated if you share and like. Thank you very much beforehand and if you would join us in the live I would love to meet you. Take care Cyber Angels and new viewers. Love Cyber Mum.